But uh, it's very early, isn't it? This fellow Gaza Jim had 40 wins in a row. I mean, that does take some doing. And then he ran into a punch there against Juan Metzer of Mexico back in 84. And he took a year out. He was so shocked at being bowled over. And I'll tell you, they're already warming up now, midway through the first. As Jim and I said, they, they stand there and they really let the punches go. There's a fellow in the audience getting his money. Look, he's enjoying that. Just a few seconds ago, but he recovered very quickly, obviously, in good shape. He's used to taking big punches because he takes... He's take... But Sala doesn't mind throwing punches. He's, he's got long arms, you see, and he's bound to catch him with something doing that. Just look at that reach. It's phenomenal. Oh, and the straight punch had him over. That was unusual. The Mexican crowd there are with Viasana from Acapulco. And it looks as though it's going to be over. In terms of arms and uh, length and build, Viasana reminds you of McGuigan a bit, Jim. Yeah, that's a fact. He, he gets a lot of uh, length on these punches. He's trying to get a little bit closer here in the second round. In the first round, he was throwing punches from way out. But now he's trying to... Points for it's worth having half the time. Probably the best band of weight I've seen was Ruben Olivares. Oh, look at that. Where they get stuck in, Jim, honest to God. It's just as well with the safe side of the ropes here. You know, every punch is a bomb. Every punch is a knockout punch. And there's Villasana landed the punches that count there. Although he's the one who looked uh, as though he wanted to, to grab hold. Well, you know what they say in the trade, Jim. They're not trying these two. What a left hook that was at the finish. See, he was trying to take over the punches and then picked the better punch of the two. Coming up the end of the second round, it looks as though they've been going for 15 with the amount of punches being thrown. And I don't think that spectator's going to stay the course. boxers spitting them out when they're in trouble again that's another safety measure and the crowd on their feet there Viasana looks as though he gets the edge and then Gaza comes right back at him better oh that was a shield came out there and the referee there it is, goes back in again. I thought for a minute he was going to give him a mandatory, but didn't. It looks like uh, the end's coming, surely, for Gaza. He was a bit lucky to get a bit of a time off there. And the left hook again. And he's starting to chop into pieces now, Viasana. He really is good when he's bang on top like this. He's no mercy. What a gutsy guy, Gaza, just the same. Oh, how's this going to end now, Jim? What? Midway through the fifth. Oh, the left hook, as we said. And he didn't get away from it. Wide left hook, but it caught to Garza. Bang on the chin. Bang on the chin. Look at the way his head whipped there. No chance of recovering. Seconds in round number five. The winner by way of knockout, Marcos Villasana.